I grew up two hours from here. I'm gonna have tons of fans there. I'm one of the top contenders in the UFC, and I'm gonna be here for a long time, so. I think everyone that he's fought has tried to take him down, though. I'm looking for the knockout. You better knock me out or, or tap me out because. Extremely determined, you see little Josh Neer. Josh Neer is, as like we said before, very experienced. Little evil Jens Pulver, of course, former UFC lightweight champion himself. Great chin and great heart. He had a huge gash over his eye in one fight, winning up. Solid professional. Joe, he hurt his knee. UFC 62 to Nate's older brother, Nick. It's a perfect example of the kind of heart this kid has. He did hear his knee. And another guy, very solid professional, was fought for the title. So. Nowhere, so face it, flow beyond basic, city with game. Now my dough turn the cake so you can keep the change. Just the four pound clap, just a fact from that boot. Yes, I get older in the finals. Since then, Junior Sun Sound, Nate Diaz. And the ultimate fighter in UFC history. As soon as he locked it on, he ended up excellent submissions. Just a real promising up and coming to brown belt. His little brother, Nate Diaz. Majority's only loss came in October of 2006 in the last three. In training in that Caesar Gracie camp, so many tough fighters come out of there at the time. And, uh, you know, the kid has just a world of potential. This is a. Nate Diaz, Opa just 19 years old. Our tale of the tape for our main event of the year. Our official introductions of this main event tonight from Omaha. Main event of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Benton. A professional record of nine wins with two losses. He stands six. Nate Dia! Gentlemen, go over your instructions. I expect a clean fight. I'll be in my. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. Josh Neer. Two talented lightweights. Yo, you ready? Early kick for Near. Nice inside leg kick by Near, and Near does not. Want Very well rounded is Josh Near. There's no flash. This guy just. I say things to trick their opponent. Dars, right there. That is a Dars choke right there. He let it out. He's regularly with his brother Nick, who is a black belt. Brother. Up he goes, down he goes. Trying to. He appears to be the stronger man. In his UFC career, in fact, the majority of his fights have. You see that? This is a big Sakuraba move. He loves to do that one there. He's got it out now. He's free. And Nate tried to drop, and he's trying to turn it around and bring Josh near to the ground. Josh stuffs that. And Nate trying to use that wizard for a judo throw. Scramble. What a battle for position. Look at Diaz. It's tricky. And so Four fight winning streak. And if you see Nate's punches, he punches just like his brother. He doesn't throw a full blast in every. There's another one. Sooner or later, he's gonna. There's a tremendous amount of energy, and he's still landing shots. They're just not full. T. Blizzard. And he goes right into side control. Garden. Nate's pushing it down. And Nate's gonna. This would Look be. Look out for the heel hook. A significant victory. 30 seconds remains in the first round. Nice elbow from the bottom by Josh. Up round though. Nate Diaz. Josh Deer. Nate Weathered the early storm where Near seemed to be the much more powerful fighter. And let me think back to the Robbie Lawler fight against his older brother Nick. We're scrambling to Josh's back. He's so slippery on the ground. Look at... He's in Josh's full guard here. A world of potential. He's turning towards a knee bar. Kick 
kick. Dumb. What he's doing is it looks like he's turning towards a knee bar, but he kicks out of the way. Ain't another up kick though. He's so slippery. Diaz, but also somebody who avoids being submitted. Yes, he's. Watch that wizard again. See the wizard? Watch Josh's right hooks in though, but he does have an arm across the chin. Got he's two got hooks in now. Him. There he goes. The key here. here is control the hands. Keep the chin. Arm bar. Oh, so slippery. So slippery, man. I mean, Near was. And that's that solid defense. He kept it. Josh Near. Starting control the second he's part. Up, up kick. Drops down. His last six wins have been by submission. Nate Diaz trying to steal round two. Now he can knee if he Back wants. to his feet. Oh, uh, working the body. One, two, three, four, five punches. And on Josh Near's right arm. What he wants to do is if you see him step. Good round for Josh Near. What a great main event of the year. Gentlemen, let's fight. Trying to work the body. Josh Near's got his back. This is a very close fight. Josh loses back control and Nate again. Good scramble. Nate tried for a step active. And it looked like Nier was trying for a triangle before he did that. Three and a half remains. Another thing about Nate Mike is he's in excellent shape. Both him and his brother work ethic is rubbing off on his brother. Now, like I said, it he does that all the time, that step over move. In the first half of the third and final round. Again, watch that wizard. Both hooks. Josh Near's in trouble. Final fights. Josh Near is tough as nails. And again, he steps out of that on the argument. Round one, Diaz. Round two, Near. Maybe, you never know. Nine. Nate Diaz is a little bit old school the way he approaches this game as well. Bar. Oh, and Josh Near's got his back now. And from his back, now he goes for a double. That's Ultimate Fighter 5 winner, trying to remain unbeaten in tougher and tougher comp competition. Josh Near's throwing some good body shot. Again! With that judo throw. D House. Nate Diaz. Above it, Nate Diaz, Josh Near, four opponents. And for the first time in the UFC, he will have to wait. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the... Cecil People scores it, 29, 28. A split decision, Nate! Josh Near, he shook his head as if, you know what? He got me this time. And he Your toughest opponent yet in the UFC, you gotta be satisfied with that victory. Yeah, fight, man. All these other jujitsu guys and wrestlers, y'all need to know how to jujitsu. Yeah, you hit this beautiful judo throw. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I just try to work my ass off. I ain't quitting.